We got a new video from JP Talks Too Much. This is a new channel I'm checking out. It's called Jujutsu Kaisen Jumping Anime the Jump. Unreal. In most anime, there's always going to be a character that gets... Now, I don't know uh, Jujutsu Kaisen as much as I know like a Dragon Ball Z, obviously, which is why I like the code name Super, because there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z content. But through all the anime raps that just are uh, lyrical Wikipedia, not even lyrical, that are just Wikipedias on a beat, I've low-key learned about it, so... Jump, <laughs> usually the villain. But among the several anime that just has the villains getting jumped, not many does it as good as Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen took the idea of getting jumped and turned it into an art form. Never in my life have I seen somebody get jumped so masterfully other than that one scene in JoJo where they jumped. <laughs> but Jujutsu Kaisen has mastered the art of getting jumped. Today, we're gonna be looking at two of my favorite jumpings of not just Jujutsu Kaisen, but an anime altogether. Mahito gets the two-piece combo. I've a million percent seen this through, I've, I haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen Day in my life, but through anime rap, I've seen this entire scene. First of all, how you gonna the start the fight, fight by j getting your face discombobulated, bro? This is how we knew yeah, he was already baby, about to get son. boxed up, bro, because th this is how the fight started, Ooh, bro. You, no. he, he was flabbergasted, too. My dog's like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Flip. There's no reason he should be able to do that. But Itadori kept on coming for him and, you know, throwing punches. And then this nigga I'm says this. I'm just going to keep on pounding him. What did he say? Hey, hey. Okay, bro, that is no, the most sus down. thing that you could ever say during a fight, bro. You're gonna pound this nigga? Hey, yo, like... It was ah, a key pounding you, that was You couldn't have said violation. anything else, but you're gonna pound this nigga into the ground, bro. Yo, like, dude, you might wanna calm down there. Pause. But as the fight goes on, oh, Ito right, Itadori's right. getting pressed a little, bro, and he finally catches Itadori and tried to fuck with that nigga's soul. Ooh. And Sukuna was like, hey, are, are you touching my soul right now? Well, who the, f hey, listen here, little nigga. This is the only time you will ever get to do this. You ever uh -oh. come near my soul again, I will f you in the he didn't actually say that but <laughs> look at this nigga mahito's no face bro he was shitting bricks already but after catching itadori off guard again he was about to go for that blow and then nanami shows up and this is when the jumping yeah, begins nanami was like hey yo jumping. why is he bleeding what happened to his face itadori was like i, I kind of boxed him up earlier and that was like hey, did, you did you let him touch you of course itadori said yes and then nanami's like all right bro listen here dude so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna stop him from moving okay. and when we finally get an opening we're gonna give him that two piece. Bro, this was a calculated jumping. A pre- How you strategize your jumping so effortlessly? He said, you move here, you move here. I'm gonna cut this off, you cut this off. We finna uh, mix, son. Meditated violation. Oh. And so they proceed with the plan. And the jumping begins. Now, it took a little minute of them fighting him, but what they finally that? caught that nigga lacking. And the worst beat down in anime started. And oh my on, God, the back. way they had this nigga's head. Fight back! <laughs> I feel bad for this nigga Mahito, bro. He is getting boxed up. When I oh, they beating the shit. <laughs> they beating that nigga like they found the nigga who beat up their sister at the club, nigga. God damn. They beating that. Wow. You know you getting mixed when you getting thrown to one nigga and then he throwing you to the next nigga all through punches and kicks? Nah, nigga. Don't put hands and feet on me and then, uh, uh, uh move me around, orchestrate me too, that ain't fair. I tell you Jujutsu Kaisen has some of the best jumpings in anime, bro. Oh this is what I mean, bro. This is what? the definition what? of getting jumped. They barely gave this nigga time to even- The worst part is he's eaten every block something, bro. And think that nigga's throwing hits back to back. Until like Mahito got tired of their shit and opened the fucking domain expansion. And they left Itadori's stupid ass outside because yeah. he ain't want to deal with his ass. But you know, Itadori being a little bit brain dead, he punches his way in. And that's when Sukuna comes out and was like, hey, bro, didn't I tell you there wouldn't be a second warning? Uh, now I'm about to fuck your ass. Wait, you mean fuck my ass up, right? I'm a warrior. That's gangster. That fall back was gangster. And he fucked up his domain expansion and blew it up. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Yuji seeing an opportunity goes for one last hit to murk this nigga out of existence. But you know, Mahito being an Orochimaru clone, he, he just slithers away into a fucking drain and runs away. Our next jumping, actually, uh, before I even get... He got out the jumping, because boy, I ain't gonna lie, that might have been the most mixed 
nigga I've ever seen in a gym. What? That's where next jumping. That, that was, was one girl. beat down that I have to, I have to talk about. Toto beating the shit out of Megumi for no okay, reason. This nigga that. Toto showed up and was like, hey, listen, homeboy, what kind of women do you like? And by the way, depending. Maybe I have seen this. Low key, this makes me want, the choreography is so fire. It makes me want to start watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Depending on your answer, I will beat your ass half to death. Megumi ass was confused as fuck. He's like, what the hell? That makes no sense. Why would you do that? And he's like, bro, just I tell me what I kind of women you. do you like. Megumi thinks a little I and he's like, you. I mean, if she got a good personality, I don't see a problem. Nah. And then this motherfucker starts crying and is like, damn, Fushiguro. Your taste is trash! This nigga went on to get Fushiguro the- Yo, the mixing nigga because of his taste in women is brazy. I ain't gonna lie. In front of a female too, you just try to embarrass this nigga, bro. The worst beating of his life for not liking the same women as him. This Crazy. nigga Toto is really something else. But that was just the yeah. appetizer to the main course meal. That is Hanami getting boxed up with the boogie woogie. Now before this fight, Toto and Itadori actually got into a little squabble themselves. And Toto asked him the same question Damn, he asked Megumi. Hey bro, what kind of women is your type? And this nigga answers. Not gonna lie to you, bro. If she's tall, and got a wagon that moves like jello, you bro, see? I'm gay. And Toto started crying and was like, <laughs> I finally found the best friend. Yeah, he said, oh. And with that out of the way, these two gave Hanami what? a beating sh Dog, imagine not getting whooped down because you like uh, your girls yeeked up. And y'all have that in common. Yeeks saved the day again. She will never forget. And yes, that's a she. Hanami showed up to the high school and started boxing everyone. There was nothing they could do about her. And then Maki showed up with her cursed tools. And you know, they, they actually started giving her the works. I'm not gonna lie. But in the middle of giving her the works, Fushiguro got got. Oh no, my God, you got got, bro. Next thing you know, he had these stupid plants growing out of him. And Hanami explained yeah. that the more techniques he tried to use, the deeper the roots are gonna go. And then unfortunately, Maki got caught. And then Fushiguro yeah. started getting desperate. He was like, oh, hell no, bro. I'm not gonna be the first person to go down. You know what? And he was about to use the cursed technique. But Maki yelled at him and was like, nah, bro. Our job here is done. And then the Menace Brothers showed up. What's Itadori up? and Toto finally What's got up? to fight. And then Fushiguro had ass gonna say this. You die again and I'll kill you myself. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What? <laughs> bro, go sit down somewhere, bro. Now the real fight starts, right? And Itadori kicks the fuck out of her. And she's like, damn, that nigga fast. But I could keep up with him. Now as they continue fighting, Itadori goes and try to use a black flash. And fail. So Toto showed up and smacks the fuck out of him. Like, bro, what the fuck you doing? And then Toto starts giving this man a pep talk. She got one hand. You guys can work. And mentions friend. a honeymoon for some reason. I don't know why. But after the pep talk, Itadori was actually good. able to land a black flash. A real one. After getting smacked by the black flash, Hanami was like, you know what? I should take you niggas seriously. And releases her other hand. And then they start throwing hands, but they was going dummy in that fight, bro. And Hanami was thinking, hey, yo, if they continue like this, they might actually be able to damage me. And this bitch removed the plants from under their feet. After landing on their asses, but they, they just continue going at it like nothing happened. And then this bitch Hanami starts having an orgasm, talking about some Mahito, I'm fine getting a good fight like bro what are you talking bro calm down it's just a fight but as they're fighting she throws this man toto and he was about to get impaled but then he clapped her now i'm just joking he clapped and switched positions with her and yuji was flabbergasted like hey yo what the fuck and then we get to the boogie woogie beat down they started jumping on me and wasn't giving her a chance to do anything toto was <laughs> this nigga loves jumping niggas bro <laughs> this nigga loves jumping niggas i might have to start watching jujutsu kaisen because they fighting like he like, nah, nigga, I ain't Goku, bruh. I ain't here for the fair fight. I'm here to mix you and get you out of here, bruh. Clapping yeah. and switching positions with Yuji all over when the I place. When I was watching animes, I always used to be like, why don't they, especially in the fighting ones, like the Yu Yu Haka shows, the Dragon Ball Z's, the, all of them. I think the Ronin Warriors used to jump niggas, but like, I used to always be like, why don't y'all utilize the jump more? Start jumping some of these niggas, bro. Stop giving him the fair fight. She man. didn't know who was coming to hit her or who's gonna teleport. She was yeah. just getting smacked. While she's smacked sitting there up. getting the paws put on her by Mom, this boogie smacked woogie, up. smacked up. This man starts styling oh, on her. Bro, this nigga was literally striking poses as he clapped. I knew characters could get disrespectful in anime, but bro, this is another yeah, level. To be styling on your opponent as you guys are jumping her and striking poses for the gram. That is wild. Boy, bro, it didn't matter what she did, but she was just getting. Box. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the face you make when you are getting your ass thoroughly jumped. I hate Trash when I'm watching destroyed. Shonen, bro, and the main character will be getting pieced up by the villain, right? And the side characters are just sitting there giving reaction. Oh my God, that's literally what I just said. I literally was like, I've always been like, yo, why start? The Z fighters are the worst with this, bro. They will not jump. I don't understand it. Frieza should have got jumped. Ginyu should have got jumped. Everybody should get jumped, bro. If Goku and Vegeta are in anywhere near proximity, stop fighting Boo one-on-one -on -one and jump this nigga, bro. Come on, what is fusion if not jumping? The actions instead of helping. <laughs> like damn, there's seven of y'all standing there. Go jump this jump nigga, this nigga. stop standing around looking. Jujutsu Kaisen saw that trope and was like, nah, we not doing that nigga. You getting jumped. You come on our turf and try to do some shit, but you getting your- That's what I want to see in Dragon Ball Super. I want to see a team attack. I want to see uh, TN jump out of nowhere, final flash somebody. That's what y'all should start doing with the human characters. Since they too weak by themselves, have uh, final flash. Krillin jump off his back with the Kenzai disc. Ha! Ah, chop the nigga in half. And then uh, Yamcha might come through and Wolf Fang fist something down, bro. Come on, bro. Stop it. Like everyone. They have no qualms about jumping your ass. But after that, hey, Toto switched Itadori with the cursed tools that was left in the previous fight. All I'm saying is if there is a supervillain threatening my people or the world, you gotta jump him. All of that <laughs> honorable warriors get thrown out the window, bro. Jump, jump style, nigga. If you got the dirt in his eye, nigga, you fighting for the universe. Bite this nigga. Goku will bite you. That's what I like about Goku. And Hanami got some quick PTSD from when Maki was piecing her up with the tool. So she goes to open a domain expansion. But you know the light-skinned god himself, Gojo, was not about to let that slide. He breaks the barrier that was trying to keep him out and showed his beautiful ass eyes. <laughs> Who getting rizzed up first? He teleports to the weird butcher dude and turn his limbs into Twizzlers by just looking at him. And then this nigga uses hollow purple and just ends the whole fight. So yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen honestly has some of the best jumpings in anime. Cause these sorcerers give no fucks, bro. They're gonna yeah, jump you. And honest to God, I cannot wait to see who gets the next jumping in JJK. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I might start watching Jujutsu Kaisen. That Crunchyroll might get <laughs> hit up, you feel me?